And welcome back to RYC STEM Review. If you didn't see the first half of this, go by and go back and check it out. We were talking about the Tello and he did some coding and we were flying around the room and the fan was blowing. It was crazy up in here. But now Paul is gonna break it down in terms of how he coded that. All right, so I'm gonna step out this frame so you can get busy on this one. Absolutely, so first uh, we have to download a, an application called Drone Blocks. This is the application that is set up for the Tello drone. And so again, uh, when looking at the block coding menu, as you can see, everything has been color blocked. It's easier to identify. And if you've never done any block coding before, it'll make it much easier for you to identify what, which controls do what, such as taking off, navigating, flipping, and landing, most importantly. Okay, so today uh, with our demo, we're gonna do something real simple, which is just to get it up in the air, yep. make it fly forward for a few inches, backflip, Make it do a 180 so it can look at us. It'll come back to us, do a 180, face the crowd, and then it'll land again. First thing you wanna do is go to takeoff. Like I said, everything has been color blocked for you. And as you can see, it has uh, four quick uh, options for takeoff. We're just gonna use the regular takeoff option. And so we're gonna go ahead and put that as part of our, the beginning of our script. Drag and drop. Yes, sir. We'll go to navigation. Uh, I want you to take a look at how when I drag and drop this, I want it to fly forward as it takes off. It's like a piece of a puzzle. Yep. So if I were to connect something that did not belong in the script and would not work on the script, it would never connect, it would never click, and it would let me know. What's the number mean? So uh, you, can, uh, you can measure distance with, uh, via inches or the, uh, with the metric system or with millimeters. Okay. And so here we have it set up for inches. Can you change that number if you wanted to? Absolutely. All right, gotcha. And so that's what we're going to do today. See, mm -hmm. we can do either inches or centimeters. And so today we're going to make the drone fly for 35 inches forward. And this is super accurate. Remember I told you it has a GPS tracker that lets yeah. it know exactly where it's at, wherever yeah. it's standing. So we want it to go forward for 35 inches. Yep. Okay. What we're going to have it do then Let's have it do a little flip. Flippity It'll flip. be funny, right? Give it some exercise, give us a, a little show, right? Wow. Um, again, notice how the blocks start changing color depending yeah. on, so I know what is a takeoff, what is a navigation block, and what is a flip block whenever I, so what I wanted to do now after it flips, I want it to turn around for us. So I'm gonna go ahead and go into navigation. What's really cool about this is that you also get to learn a special language that they only use in aviation. And so in order to turn the, t the tello to the right, mm. I don't look for something that says turn right. What I would look is for something that says yaw to the right, as you can see right here, yaw. And so what we're going to do... That was slang. Ah, <laughs> it's in aviation. <laughs> so... <laughs> yaw, right. Yaw, yaah, right. Yeah. Yeah. Right, right. So we're going to have it yaw, right, right. <laughs> for 180 degrees yeah. so it can face us. Right. Then we want it to come back to us, right? Mm. So... Uh, think about think about the distance that it has flown. Mm. So if it flew forward for 35 inches and then it flipped back, uh, you can say that it took about 10 inches off of the forward flight. So when you turn it around in order to get it back to the de to the destination which you had it, you have to deduct 10 inches. Right. So I wanted to fly back to us at 25 inches rather than 35 inches. So it lands on the table this time. Correct. Right. Got you. And so now we're gonna make it. We're gonna go ahead and connect this part right here and we want it to go like i said 25 inches that'll accommodate for the uh for the lowest distance that we flipped on yep then we want it to turn back to the crowd yeah man and we're gonna yaw it yeah. one more time yeah, at 180 degrees this is great it teaches you math angles yes. you'll learn that with this and then once we have it facing the proper way we could go ahead and utilize our landing yeah, option. Let's land it, baby. This landing option gives you two options. You could either just land and end the mission, or what if this was just one of your stops in your mission? So it actually has the option for you to land for five seconds, three seconds, 10 seconds, do what it does. Maybe you need to put some cargo on it, dismount something off of the uh, payload, and then it'll take off after that. But for the sake of this video, we're just gonna land it. Okay, so we're just gonna go ahead and hit land here. We're gonna connect the land onto the script. And once that's done, you can make the magic happen. Ooh, sir. just that easy. That's it. That's all you got to right, do. Let's see what we got going on here. And we're off. Yep. Slide forward. Ooh, flip forward. There it is. Uh, yeah, right? 
Ja. <lacht> <lacht> Uh -oh. Okay. Let's turn back to the crowd. Okay. Say hi to everybody. And we'll land. It's just that simple. And, I, and I'm hoping that you're watching this and saying, wow, this is all it takes to really code. Yeah, this is a simple way of coding. It's called block coding. Yes, sir. It's drag and dropping, nothing to be afraid of. If you want to do a little bit more of this, either check out with your school or you are always welcome to check back here or come by. If you're living in the New York City area, come by Renaissance Youth Center. A lot more to come, so stay tuned.